Hello everybody, this video is a review of the questions of the mass spectra variety. So for each one, what we have to do is get the structure of the molecule, draw out its full displayed formula, I want to see every single hydrogen, every single carbon, every single oxygen, uh, identify the main fragments, so kind of predict where it's going to break up, and then answer any other questions that appear in spectra. So let's do this. Methanol. Methanol should be really easy. Meth prefix meaning one, anol meaning alcohol, so O, H, and then fill up the carbons, the carbon with the rest of the hydrogens there. So that's going to be methanol. Identify the main fragments. Okay, so can snap up in a few different places. So obviously we can just lose a hydrogen there. Um, so then this entire section would be, so the relative form of mass for the entire molecule, let's do that first, that'd be more logical, wouldn't it? So carbon is 12 plus uh, four lots of hydrogen, which is four plus 16 equals 32. So the molecular iron peak will be 32. If we have just this entire section here, that entire section is gonna be 31 here anything over here is going to be just 15 so 12 plus 1 2 3 and then we could have a little break there as well so what would that be 15 plus the 16 oh 31 i've already done that okay so let's try to match that up to the actual spectra there uh so there's the 32 so the 32 is your molecular iron peak so i can label that with m plus this 31 is the most stable peak uh, and actually the question here says which fragment gives rise to the base peak at 31 it's going to be this section here so it's going to be the ch3 o plus so it's the molecule minus a hydrogen uh, then the consequent one, so that's going to be minus another hydrogen, minus another hydrogen, uh, minus another hydrogen, easy. Uh, and then this is your CH3 plus. Okay, not too shabby, relatively straightforward that one. Okay, let's go on to a slightly trickier one. Okay, okay, so what are we dealing with here? We are dealing with one eth oxypropane, fun, fun, fun. So we're going to have propane, so one, two, three. Uh, if it's one, it's going to be attached to that one there. So the oxy bit is going to go here. So we've de dealt with the one, we've dealt with the propane, we've dealt with the oxy. Now to deal with the eth bit, so let's put ether, one, two. Let's pop that all together take my brace off. Uh, let's make sure every single carbon has got four bonds coming out of it. Every single oxygen should have two. Yep, yeah, cool. So we've got all our hydrogens. Uh, there we go. Okay, relative formula mass of this thing then. We'll get you 88 as the relative formal mass of the entire thing, which there it is, there's 88, there is our molecular iron peak. Now, there is a little cheeky bit there. Without seeing the decent graduations of this, so that would be 90, that would be 85, without seeing sort of more detailed graduations there, it could be that one, or it could be that one. I can't really tell on this diagram. So I'm going to treat that as the molecular iron peak there. It may be that it's that one, or that may be the presence of an isotope. With this diagram, we can't tell, so we're not going to worry about it too much. Fragments. Let's have a look. So I'm just going to start in an utterly arbitrary place. Uh, let's just go here. So that's going to be a 15. That's quite nice to deal with. Uh, this section, so 15, add 12, add 1, add 1, is 29. Add an oxygen to it as well, so that'd be plus a 16. 45. And um, what else could we do? Where else could we chop? Let's chop 
this entire section as well. So from the carbons, three lots of carbons would be 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43 for that section there. That one's going to be a 29 again, and that one's going to be a 15 again. Okay, so lots of different fragments there. Uh, equally from here, I could kind of have this entire section as well. So that'd be the 45 plus the 14, so we could have the 59. And then, again, keep adding on that way. So are there any questions with this? Let's have a look. No question at the bottom there. Um, so molecular iron peak is there. The largest peak is right here. So that is our base peak. Let's add that label. Base leak, uh, base peak. And uh, what would that be on? That looks like 30, what would that be? What, 31? What would the 31 be? Hmm, the 31 might be either of these 29 sections with maybe two isotopes there. That's a bit cheeky, isn't it? Meh. Let's just dismiss it as that for now. Uh, any other peaks that we could label quite quickly, quite readily? Uh, there we go, 59, that's this section here. So what would that be? Uh, CH3, CH2, O. CH2 plus, so that section matches to that entire bit there. Um, yeah, cool. It is what it is, very nice. All the other numbers that we've got are there somewhere. Yeah, looks lovely. Next. Ethanoic acid, one, two for the F. Anoic acid means it's a carboxylic acid, so oh, over there. OH there, one, two, three. So there's our ethanoic acid. There we go. Just zoomed in a little bit more for you there to make that a little bit easier uh, to see. So the relative form of of that entire thing, how many carbons we've got, how many hydrogens, how many oxygens. We've got one, two carbons, one, two, three, four hydrogens and two oxygens. Add that up. Molecular iron peak will be 60, which if we have a look at the diagram, yeah, there it is at 60. That is your molecular iron peak. Love it. What else have we got? What fragments? Big fragment here at 40, so 41, 42, 43, 44. Okay, and then 45, 46 is a big one too. Let's see if we can figure out what those bits are. Um, so obviously we're going to have... So I've just chop the hydrogen off, everything to the left of that hydrogen is just going to be one less than that, so that's going to be 59. Uh, they've not given us a little peak for 59. Probably not that stable. Interesting. Uh, they have given us a little peak slightly above that at 61. Again, that's just probably the presence of an isotope, uh, carbon-14, for example. Um, what else have we got? Let's keep chopping off a bit. So uh, 59 minus the 16 from the oxygen, that's going to be 43. Over here, we've got another 15. So 15 is there. So that's just a CH3 plus. Um, what else we got that's particularly interesting? Uh, we've got 44 and 46. So 17 from there. 17 plus the 12 is 29 up to there, plus the 16 for the oxygen. Okay, so this section here is 45. So the 45, uh, smack bang in the middle there, what we have actually got there is a 44 and a 46. So that's either gonna be uh, with the presence of an isotope or getting rid of different hydrogens as well. But then let's do it from the other way. So we've got 15, plus the 12 from the carbon, plus 16 from the oxygen. That's 43 up to there. I've already got that. The... Cool. So the 44, the 46 are going to be, so either this section or this section minus a hydrogen. Propanone. I think we did propanone in lesson anyway. Uh, prop 1, 
two, three. A known means it's a ketone, so there it is in the middle. Fill up the rest with hydrogens. So we've got 15 there, 15 there, or we can have 15 plus 12 plus 16 for that section would be your 43. Let's label the key bits here. Uh, relative formula mass of this is going to be the 43 plus the 15. Relative formula mass of the entire molecule is 58. So there we go. There's the 58. So that's your molecular iron peak. This one here, 1, 2, 3, 4. Sorry. One, two, three. So that is uh, the uh, the base peak, and that is CH three CO plus. Those are the main two peaks there. Methyl propanoate. Okay, propanoate. So if it's propanoate, we got one two, three, O, oh, C. So that's the propanoate bit. And then we just have to chuck a methyl at the end of it as well. So let's make sure all our hydrogens are there as well. Lovely. Okay, so that is methyl propanoate. Propanoate, methyl. The overall relative formula mass for that one is a bit of a beast. Total is going to be 88. So let's match up to our spectra. Uh, yep, that one looks like the 88, the big one there. Uh, again, without sort of further degrees of decency we can't really of decency of uh precision there we go that's the word we can't tell if that is 88 or if that is uh the sort of isotope one for the 89 so i'm just going to call this one the molecular iron peak for now what have we got in terms of fragments base peak here is 25 26 27 28 29 that looks like so let's try and figure out what the 29 is Uh, I think the 29 is just this, isn't it? So that would be 15. Yeah, so that section there would be your 29. So your base peak is actually CH3, CH2. We'll have a 15 from there. Just there, we've got uh, 15 plus 16 is 31. So there we go, that's this bit here. So that could be CH3O plus. There's that one there. Uh, what's this one? So 51, 52. 52 uh, looks like. So add on that carbon. Oops, school bell, time for me to go. Uh, so 29 plus 12 plus 16. Okay, so this way you've got 57 and then this way, I mean, these diagrams get awful after a while, don't they? But it's all good. So this way you'd have 31 plus 12 plus 16. That one is the 59. So that is that one, 59. So if we get rid of seven, how could we get rid of seven now? Mm -hmm. We'll do it the other way here and get rid of just, bear with me, sorry, brain fart. Uh, get rid of five that way. Getting rid of five would be chopping off the hydrogen. So yeah, maybe that would be one for 52. Okay, there are a few different arrangements that we can go for, um, but they're the base peak. We've got the base peak labelled, we've got the molecular iron peak labelled, and we've labelled a few of the other bits as well. The final question, um, we haven't yet done NMR, so that's kind of a, a very cheeky one for me to throw in there. So I'm not actually going to go over that right now. It'd be better to go through that once we've actually had a look at NMR. But with the IR, you've got infrared there, and with the mass spec, you can use 
talk about functional groups and telling them apart that way. Another piece of the puzzle is the HNMR, and we'll come on to that at another point. That is it for today, ladies, gents, girls, boys and others. I hope that has been informative for you. Um, see you next time.